So guys, welcome back to another fun adventure. But this fun might not be fun for everyone. Actually, it's no fun at all. If you are not <laughs> into trees that need your attention, right? A lot of attention. Today we have the the unwelcome and uncalled for pest of sooty mold, which is this black powder on the leaf, every leaf you could say, and his mate. Of course, they travel together, right? Scale. Yep, scale has fully enveloped the white sapote. So that's today's uh, video. We have this menace to take care of and it's partly my fault because I didn't take action early. So this is a reminder to myself in the future and to you guys. If you have a white sapote tree and you see any sign of powdery black powder, soot, mildew, whatever, right? On your leaves like this and scale on the other side, don't wait like I did. It's been exactly two months since this tree began this problem. That, that is back in uh, September. <laughs> September, the beginning of spring. And I didn't do anything about it. The reason I didn't do anything about it is because last spring it happened. This same thing happened. But it took care of itself. It went away. And I thought, okay, well, it'll go away just like it did last year. And instead of going away, it increased and got worse and worse and worse every day, every single day. So guys, once again, don't do like I did and think or wish for it to go away because there's a very good chance it won't go away. You can get lucky, like I did, but your luck will run out, like mine did. <laughs> All right, so enough of this blah, 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 because a picture is worth, how does it go? A picture is worth a lot more than words. Let's start spraying. Oh man, what a big job I have. It's all around, everywhere, everywhere. And it's affected the, um, well, thankfully it hasn't affected the fruit so bad. They've just got this dark, dark um, soot on the skin. It's not so bad, but look at this, the stem, look at that, it's black with soot. No, I can't scratch it off. Now why did this happen? There's a snail that's been crawling on there. It happened because of the rain, guys. It's the rain that's causing this. All the rain we had. Right? Look how the tree desperately wants to live. Just like you and me. It's not giving up. So, because of the rain, over 150 millimeters of rain, just in the month of November, that's around uh, seven inches of rain in the last three weeks here in my part of Melbourne. Other parts have had less, other parts more. Um, we have this problem. Last year it didn't rain as much. That's why it went away. It went away, but it didn't go away this time because the rain is still coming. And today we had a day off from the rain 
that's why I'm gonna spray and take care of it and as you can see on the neighboring pomelo tree look the pomelo tree is starting to get affected not as much but give it another month and this will be like that for sure look how close they are the two trees and it's partly affected the um, other white sapotis. I forgot to mention the variety. This is the, the Hawaiian Supreme. The Hawaiian Supreme, the one that tastes the best in my opinion, happens to be the worst out of all the varieties of white, of, um, white sapoti when it comes to scale. It's the worst. I've got um, seven different varieties of white sapoti and this one gets it the worst. My favorite variety. Can you believe it? See how dark it is from a distance? It's meant to be brown like that down there. See that brown down there? That's the color the branches should be. But they're black instead of brown. Now, it's affecting the, as I said, it's affecting the other varieties. I've got a big job in front of me today. This is the lemon gold. Wow, what a disaster. I've got a lot of work in front of me. Look at, look at this leaf here. Look at that. The reason I'm giving you all this blah, 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 guys, is so you don't forget. Don't forget to take action. I'm trying to penetrate your mind. Okay, not only with pictures, but with voice. It's so important. It's so important. The lemon gold is copped it as well. Now that it's starting to set fruit and new growth. See that? New growth everywhere on the lemon gold. But it won't be there for long if I ignore the problem and it's affected the vista the vista white sapoti really bad this is the smallest tree it's like a dwarf see that look it's affected the fruit as well look at the fruit they don't look too good do they look that's what happens with uh, scale and it's starting to affect the the one that's the furthest away from the Hawaiian Supreme this is the uh, uh, gee what's the name of this one I keep forgetting the names guys there's too many varieties here this one isn't so bad but it's gonna get there it's gonna get there yeah right and it's affected the oh that's that was the um the wilson that's the wilson and it's affected the uh vernon the vernon which has never had blacks uh is that's never had scale before i've had scale on all the others but never on this one the vernon has never had scale in eight years and it's getting it guys it's getting it so I'm going to have to spray not one tree, but five trees. All right, let's get started. The introduction was, oh my gosh, is, does that say nine minutes? Yeah, almost 10 minutes to introduce myself with um, these pests. The spray bottle is ready. Let's do it. Like I said, we do this when it's uh, not raining and not uh, windy. No wind, no rain. There's a bit of a breeze, but that's not so bad. You're meant to use a backpack, right? Not a little bottle like this. And I can't be bothered. I'm a lazy gardener, guys. I've got a backpack, but I don't want to pull it out. 
So what I'm gonna do is multiple bottles, refilling each and every time. It's a sign of my laziness, right? So we're gonna do it that way until it's dripping. All right, I'll be back in, um, geez, I'm gonna be back in about half an hour. <laughs> but for you guys, it's gonna be in two seconds. Okay, guys, 20 minutes later, I've um, doused the Hawaiian Supreme with two bottles, two liters of uh, oil. And it's starting to spit, not good. <laughs> there was a 30% chance of rain and it's starting to spit, to drizzle very lightly. I just hope that uh, that drizzle moves on or stops anyway um, I completely drowned the tree with a very light film of uh, spray it's uh, dripping in many places I covered it completely with one liter and I gave it the second liter for absoluteness for complete dousing right so that's all done. We come back after seven days and do it again and again every seven days until the problem is gone. Looks like it's going to be three or four weeks because I let it go too, too far. That's why they say do it at the early signs, not at the last sign. <laughs> the last sign is when the tree is ready to die. Well, it's not going to, it's not going to die, but, uh, I left it way too long, guys. My 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 mistake, my bad, my my whatever. So now we're going to work on the little vista, which is uh, the smallest white sapoti I have, but also has extreme infestation of um, scale. Really bad. Okay, um, and then I'm going to do the the vernon. And the uh, Wilson and the lemon gold over there. So I probably need another two or three. Look how healthy this is, how it's got a lot of new growth coming. Look at all that. Another two or three bottles, liters that is, of uh, eco oil, by the way, I'm using. I'll show you the bottle at the end of the video. Okay. Be back again in 20, 30 minutes. That is another two seconds for you guys. Aren't you lucky to be watching this instead of standing around watching me? Okay, guys, I'm done. I did all five trees in the front. And this is what I used. Eco oil. Okay. Organic um, organic miticide, insecticide, botanical oil concentrate. I used 10 milliliters per liter. In other words, half of that container in there to fill up one of those. I used five liters on five trees. So let's have a quick look at what I did. This is great value too. I've been using it for three years and look how much is left after three years. Pretty good, huh? Good value. Okay, that wasn't so bad. That took me about 45 minutes. There's a lot of leaves on the ground full of uh, um, scale and sooty mold, but I can rake them up to do a perfect job, right? According to the manual, according to the teacher, the instructor but I'm just gonna leave them there um, and let them decompose so this is the main culprit this is the guy that's caused all the problems the Hawaiian Supreme everything came from him to the other white sapotis I know that from observing over the last five years for five years he's had um, scale Every year without fail, 
he gets severe scale. So I was thinking of removing it and not having to deal with this problem and that, that might mitigate the problem with other trees catching it, including the pomelo. Pomelo gets it too. Yeah, pomelo leaves. I have to spray those too here on the edge and then it spreads across to the rest of the rest of the tree if I don't act. So this is the lemon go. Look how pretty it is. Of course I'm going to spray it. Otherwise it would go downhill. Right? Look. Look, look at that. We're just going to leave that like that? Huh? Can't just let, ignore that? It's a disaster. Right? Look. Look at the scale at the back. So of course I had to do something, guys. <sighs> Hi. <sighs> Been a busy month, November. Instead of being at the beach <laughs> every second day, we've been spraying and digging and cutting and pruning and saving and pulling out. I've got another video coming soon of um, a couple of peach trees that I pulled out and put in their place something else which you'll see in a future video. I did that a few days ago. Video coming soon. I'm about um, three to five days behind with the videos in real time. This video though you're gonna get in real time. You're gonna get this today. Um, the 24th? Yeah, the 24th of November. So, we did uh, the Vernon as well. Everyone copped the, the Eco Oil. Right? Of course they did. Look. Look at all this yucky scale. And this Vista. Wow. Really bad. Really, really bad. Look. And lastly, I did the the Wilson. The Wilson was the least affected because it's the furthest away from that Hawaiian Supreme. This is the furthest tree away. Let's go to the backyard and check the other two white sapotis I have. The Sue Bell and the... Oh, what's it called? Oh, he'll come to me when I go back there. Okay. Now we're very far away from the front yard. So... For the scale to come here, it's got to be a miracle to travel this far. Because if it can travel this far, it should be on the other trees as well, right? Not just singling out the white sapote. Um, okay, here it is. This is the Sue Bell. Uh, if I see any scale, I'll spray. If I don't see any scale, I won't spray. That's simple. Uh, by the way, white sapote is prone to scale, even on a light level. And it, you don't need to spray. Uh, to, to be honest with you, you don't need to spray uh, if, it, if there's a little bit of scale. And I'm speaking from experience. Hang on, what's this? Oh, branches that I broke off and didn't put away. There's another, this is another problem with uh, white support. You see this? Um, citrus gets this too. I can't remember what's this, what this is called. It's not leaf miner, something else. But it's white support is prone to this too. But again, don't worry about this. Do not worry about this problem on your citrus either. It goes away. Unless it gets out of hand, like the tree starts dying, then you gotta quick you gotta move quickly. I've never been in that situation. I haven't seen any scale yet, guys. On the Sue Bell, not one little black dot anywhere nowhere on any leaf but I'm seeing a lot of this this guy here I'm seeing that a lot but like I said don't worry about it as long as there's a new growth see this new growth and the tree overall is happy and there's no scale or black soot mildew none at all none so I don't have to spray good I stink of uh, oil. I had enough. Didn't want to do any more. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? 
nope that's just um they're just flower that's just dust from the flower petals yeah oh, but i'll look at i'm gonna come out and look every day okay the other white sapoti is the pollinator which is in a bad location for pollinating because it's the furthest away from all the others not going to be much of a pollinator if the bees can't reach it but that's where i planted it my bad right but the good news is it's self-pollinating so we get some fruit from it and i'm trying to think of the name guys what's your name buddy what's your name i keep forgetting his name uh, oh, it'll come to me anyway any scale nope a lot of a lot of fruitlets though thousands of fruitlets but no scale Ooh, look at all this wow a lot of fruitlets like i said this guy is uh is uh a major producer but the fruit is small these are the smallest white supporters that i get on this tree oh man look at that cluster there he's renowned for his clusters look at that looks like grapes huh and back there look at those the sioux bell does this too clusters and that's all the sioux bell is also a sm small to medium sized fruit um, I don't see any scale, which is good news. No spraying. Awesome. Okay, the name came to me. Wow. I had to think for 10 minutes. This is the Ortega. Ugh. Okay, so we're going to finish off the video now. But before we do, check this out. I was looking in the compost bin here. And look what sprouted as a volunteer. Um, well, some potatoes. And two two avocado seedlings can you believe it huh look together with our potatoes potatoes and avocado that's how easy um it is guys to do subtropical plants here in melbourne okay guys thanks for watching i gotta go and wash up now all that uh oil i stink but the job is done right okay then if you like the video please like and share with others who will find it very very important and subscribe to the channel if you haven't and we'll see you from the next video guys Bye bye now. Oh, I want some sunshine. Thankfully, the um, the drizzle stopped. It was very, very light. Would not have affected my 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 job. Bye, guys.